Palamutes are actually insane in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. They deal massive amounts of damage as well as inflicting status really rapidly and quickly, and it's all possible with the new Sunbreak Palamute gear called the Silk Binder. They straight up become damaging monsters and they can inflict statuses 2, 3 or 4 times in a hunt depending on how long your hunts go for. So if bringing a buddy that prioritises damage or status build up is your priority, then definitely consider bringing your Palamute with the build in this video. Do make sure to click like down below to support the video, and of course subscribe for all the other videos that we have for you guys already on the channel. Comment below how you have your Palamutes currently set up, and let's jump into it starting off with the weapon options. First you have to make a decision, do you want to go pure damage or status? For pure damage focus builds, simply pick the highest elemental option that matches the weakness of the monster you're fighting which you can see in the hunter's notes if you're not sure which elemental option that you need to bring. If you're looking for status however, there are two go-to options that you should be using. One is sleep and one is paralysis. Generally speaking, it's up to you and your personal preference, but many people prefer to use sleep in solo hunts and paralysis for multiplayer. This is because in solo hunts, there aren't any other players that can accidentally trigger the wake up of the monster before you're ready. Although do beware that when the Palamute starts to do a shooting combo with the new Silk Binder, sometimes it can trigger a wake up hit themselves, as once they begin shooting, sometimes they do not stop until the combo is complete. For the sleep status, your go-to option will be the Disaster Bell. This one sports the highest sleep status as well as pretty decent attack. You can get this one by completing the Cursed Buddy Gear side quest from Sue the Researcher, and this will unlock the mass strength version of this weapon for your buddies. If you want to go Paralysis however, then the best option will be the Jelly Travel Bag X. This is the highest Paralysis status, as well as very good ranged attack, which will be the focus of this build anyway, so we're capitalising on the higher attack here as well. To get this one, you will need to send your Meowcenaries out to areas with shiny fish icons. Once they return, they will have a chance to get the Flounce Jelly, which is required to craft this weapon, and once you have obtained at least one of these, it will appear in the armory for you to craft. So now you know the best Palamute weapons, let's go over the gear. So of course, first you want the new Palamute Silk Binder as your buddy's gear. This is the key to doing insane damage and status build up in Sunbreak, but it can also apply a pinning effect similar to when a monster is bound to the floor after a mount. So not only does this do great damage and status build up, but it can also pin the monster to an area on the ground for a short time that lets you do even more damage to them. When you take this gear into a hunt with you, it will get activated when you do the blue mounting damage on a monster. So whether it's a jump attack or a powerful silk bind attack, that is going to be how you will activate it, and it lasts for roughly around 3 minutes after that. So a great thing to do is engage the hunt with a jump attack or your strongest silk bind move, such as the new switch axe elemental burst counter when the monster does a roar. For the second gear slot, I advise using the blitz scroll. This one will give you more attack speed for your buddies. For status builds specifically, this is going to be fantastic, as more frequent attacks means more damaging ticks, which means more chance to apply the status proc. However, for more general damaging focus loadouts, attack speed is still decent, but the throw arm scroll will be your focus as it raises their attack by quite a lot and can also make explosions randomly for even more damage. Next, let's go over the memory skills for your Palamute to really juice up their attack. First, I want to mention the support-centric skill that I really like to have on Palicos, but for Palamutes, it doesn't make much sense to bring it, so we will not be using this in these builds. The skills that we will be using in this build will require maximum memory slots if you want to be the most effective, so make sure to use three Eureka Corns on your Palamutes so that they can essentially equip more skills. The first one to talk about is if running a status build, you want to bring status attack up. This will be needed to maximize your status output. Next will of course be range centric, this makes your Palamute focus on using only ranged attacks, which is exactly what we want. Following that you want range attack up, this just makes pure sense considering we are focusing on ranged attacks. And finally, attack up large is a great pick to further boost our Palamute's damage. If you're focusing on pure damage builds however and not status, then I would suggest replacing status attack up with pierce attack up and either critical up small or attack up small to further boost their damage output. Finally, do not forget to set the behavior of your Palamutes to follow. This is the most reliable way to set them up to keep them shooting without having to reposition too often. Then, with all of these things together, you can go out on a hunt with two of these Palamutes and you will be dealing insane damage as well as insane status with them. They'll be the ultimate support buddies when it comes to dealing damage or putting statuses out. But if you like the healing and supportive options and moves that the Palicos bring, then by all means take them as well. 
but if you purely want extra damage from your buddies, or pure status build up from them, then this build is going to be the most effective, at least to my understanding and in my opinion. So do let us know what you think of this in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for all the other videos already on the channel that we make for you guys. There are two videos on screen now that we think you might really enjoy, so if you do like the look of them you should definitely give them a click and check them out, and tell us what you think of them after you give them a watch.